Welcome back, we just finished creating the guide plate, and now we're going to add in a couple of circles that are going to represent holes. There's a couple of different options for creating circles, so let's go up here. You'll notice there's a little triangle underneath circle, which means we have more options. Uh, these are fairly straightforward. Center radius creates a circle based on the center, which you define, and a radius. Center diameter creates a circle based off a of center that you would define. Welcome back. We just finished creating the guide plate, and we're going to add a couple of circles to it to represent holes. There's a couple of different options for circles. So if you click on the triangle underneath the circle icon, you'll see you have the options of center radius, which creates a circle based off of a center point and a radius that you define. A center diameter, where you specify the center and tell it a diameter. A two-point circle, which creates a circle using two endpoints of the diameter. A three-point circle, using three points on the circumference. Tangent, tangent, radius, which references another shape or another object. And a specified radius. And tangent, 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 which would create a circle tangent to three objects, as shown in the picture here. We're just going to click on circle to see what the default is. And notice that the default is to specify a center point. We also have the options of a three point circle, a two point circle, or a tangent tangent radius circle if we knew what it would be tangent to. In this case, we know where we want the center to be. We would like to locate the center at two and a half in the x direction, three in the y direction. So we're going to use the world coordinate system and just type in 2.5 comma 3 and hit enter. And now the default on this is to specify the radius. We actually want diameter, so I could type in the letter D or I could just click on the word. I'm going to click on diameter and the diameter should be 2.5. We want to do one more circle in this top corner. I'm going to right click and repeat circle. Again, when you right click, it'll bring up the previously used command, the most recently used command. And instead of typing in the world coordinates, I'm going to use this center as a reference by typing in my at symbol. And it should be two and a half in the x direction, two in the y direction. I hit enter. There's where it's located. And again, I want diameter instead of radius. And this one should only have a diameter of 1.5. All right, that was easy enough. This finishes your guide plate and we'll continue with another tutorial.